Hello, in this video we are going to style our well points and put it on a backdrop of our uh, digital elevation model. So make sure you have only the wells and the DTM activated in the layers panel. And then we go to the layer styling panel to style first our points. Change to categorized and use the accessible field to add the colors. Click classify and remove the all other classes. This will capture all the no data that is found in the attribute table, but in this case that doesn't apply. So we have values of 0 and of 1. Change the values of 1 to a green marker. So green and RGB is 0, 255, 0. Change the size to 4. We're going to give the inaccessible wells a red color and we keep the size 2. We call the red points inaccessible and the green points accessible. Let's improve this a bit further. Go to the layer rendering and switch on the draw effects. Then click on the star icon to configure the draw effects. Always keep the source checked to have also the source points, but we use the drop shadow here which will give a shadow around the point. Reduce the offset to 1. Now we're going to add labels. Switch to single labels and we choose the well depth. But we have to make this a bit more uh, readable and nicer. So go to the expression editor Note that well depth is there in double quotes, which means use the value that you find in the attribute table in the field well depth. But we're going to add some text before. You can add text using single quotes. So we use single quotes for strings and double quotes for fields. And we use the two vertical lines to uh, concatenate and the slash n for a new line. And we see here in the preview that we now have the well depth and then on the new line we have the value but it has a lot of decimals so we use format number and let's use two decimals and close the bracket and then in the preview i see the well depth with two decimals it's also important to always add units in this case it's meters and remember that we need a space between the value and the unit so there needs to be a space typed before the m of meters Let's customize the labels a bit more. Use size 9. Change the placement. I want it offset from the point and then in the lower right. And use an offset of 1.5 mm. Now I can go to the placement engine settings and switch off that option that. Uh, we don't see truncated labels. Now let's style the DTM. And DTM is a continuous raster, therefore we use single band pseudo color. We can modify the ramp, we can choose one of those uh, presets here, but there's also a catalog that we can use. Go to create new color ramp and choose catalog CPT city. There under topography, you can find many presets. And for this uh, desert area, we can use, for example, SDA. Now here you see the colors applied to the elevation values. We can make it a bit more dramatic by adding some uh, shading that we uh, can do by switching to blending mode multiply and we blend it with the hill shade. So I'm going to duplicate the layer. So now we have DTM copy. Make sure we see that one. And I use the hill shade renderer. Let's rename it to hill shade so we don't get confused. And the hill shade is determined on the sun in the northwest, which in reality doesn't exist, but that gives that effect. And I changed the resampling to bilinear to smooth these uh, blocks that we saw. And I changed the blending mode back to normal because we don't want to blend this with anything. Now I switch on the DTM and we see the difference now that we have the shading 
from the uh, hill shade. I can even make this smoother by also changing this layer to resampling zoomed in bilinear. So in this video you've learned how to style a point layer, add labels and style a nice elevation backdrop. <music>